slid to Huss. A shot. A good stick stop. Directed on. Got his pad on a changing shot. Hammers one. Oh, and what a spectacular save. Great defense. He is hooked. He kind of shook it off and continues to play. There'll be a penalty. The Canadians guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. Detroit's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, you're not going to get an endless supply of power plays, but they get another one here. See if they can punch through. Gathered up again by Iceberg. That puck's loose, mishandled. The roadblock held. Try and get another. Push them back on their heels. They've got one. Go get two. So he played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. Chip to New. Oh, a save there. Stood up there. The Canadians are at the wing in neutralize. No! How to get it on net from there. You find yourself in the slot with the puck on your stick. You better at least make the goalie make the save. Unfortunately, he shot that one well up. And now the whistle signals stoppage to play and will get the penalty. Detroit's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Detroit penalty to number 98. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 14 minutes, 18 seconds. The Canadians power play gets another chance. Trying to go to Huss. Puck is thrown to Pacioretty. Let's it go. Deflected off the blocker. Laid on to Pacioretty. Swept on to Huss. Throws it to Pacioretty. Goes for it. A strong pad stop there. To the half wall. Can he clear? Detroit's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. And in their own end, looking for options. This penalty kills the power play. The Canadians get a two-minute penalty for tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Everybody has a man and an assignment. Four against four. They've been successful before, Doc, in the game here. Let's see if they can do it again. Move the puck, get the puck to the net. Now it's directed to Lundquist. Pass attempt to Huss. Carries it toward the woodwork. Got it in his own end. Is able to move on in. That puck's loose, deflected away by Iceberg. The Canadians shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Propelled to Starmy. A slot wrister. Save. Detroit's got that win. On to Coletta. Shoots, but ricocheted off the screen. Shot it back out of his own end. Looking to Cambeans. 
brings it in for an attack. Hassel's got the clock stopped. He and his team needed a breather. Over three minutes remaining in the period. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. Off that faceoff from the tie-up, the help came. Couldn't retain possession. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Farmer is tripped, and a penalty should be. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Detroit's power play will have lots of room to work with. They're five on three. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. A five on three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. Right out front. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. He's locked in now. Great save. Detroit's offense circles around one of the highest goal scorers in the league. While he can score off the rush, his most dangerous weapon is that quick release. Critical face-off win there. Lots on that to Coletta. They'll have to go back and recoil thanks to this clear by Lundquist. And that puck is iced, and so back it will come for another face-off. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Directing that one to Starmy. Tries to get it on net. That puck was obstructed by a screen. The Wings are given a hooking minor. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. Special team set up now. This is a power play four on three. Detroit's power play is set up with several one-time options for them. That really makes them difficult to contend with. As a result, they're among the league's very best. Moving it to Farmer. Big drive! Score! A power play goal yet again! Farmer's technique on this shot was perfect. That's why it was so hard. Hassel surprisingly not able to make this stop. It's up over his blocker side into the top of the net. And they take that neutral zone face off. Steps in from the neutral zone. Let's it go. Great save. Detroit's been an offensive juggernaut led by this player who has among the highest points totals in the league. He's a dangerous player, remarkably skilled on the power play. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Snapping a pass to Lundquist. Pitching this one to Kruger. Detroit's moving the puck up the wing. Farmer's got that puck again. He's got two already. Got in the way of that one. Loose puck did not go very well there. Nearing the final minute. Hassels is going to stop that puck all night long. It's not a difficult shot, but it's his positioning that makes it look so easy. The Canadians with a clean win on the draw. Pitching it to Skilly. Has that one measured at center. Fires! <laughs> 20 minutes are in the books. And so the coaches will have their say. The players will rest and listen. Two goals scored and both by the same team.
We turn to the shots on goal. Heavy for one, light for the other. 25 for the Red Wings and 14 for the Canadians. Looking for the latest news, scores, and statistics? Check out our team website for video. The Wings end the period with a two-goal advantage. We focus on this one, the one that made it two goals, and we'll have more in just a moment. 